Welcome to Keep It Simple Screen Printer. Today we're going to be printing a four color simulated process job using the Goto Pro um, our computer screen system. These frames, the mesh has got a polymer sheet that's attached to it. If you'll notice that there is no emulsion. The image is actually burned into the mesh with a thermal print head, burned at 600 by 1200. DPI, this is a 55 LPI design. We're doing this on 200 mesh. A couple of things to keep in mind when you're looking at the computer screen system is that it is a very thin layer that is serving as our stencil. So our EOM, our emulsion over mesh, is going to be very small. So when we're printing with this, one of the first things we want to make certain we do, we want to set the off contact very low. Now this off contact is about flush with a dime. And by that, I mean if I was to put a dime in all four corners and bring this down, I would actually be able to feel the surface of the dime. I want a low off contact because the stencil is so small that we want to just get the ink to release from this very thin stencil and sit on top. Now the advantages to this is it's going to give us an incredibly soft print. Um, um, Constantly the trade shows and even yesterday during the open people are amazed by how soft the print is while still being very bright with the colors. So we're going to start off holding up. Now with the um, Goto Pro I always recommend the, um, uh, the hard flood and then we're going to come through. Now this is a very small stencil. This is the, um, uh, the first we were printing this morning. We were printing on this yesterday. This is the first this morning. So I'm going to do about three strokes, and uh, that is about three seconds, four seconds per stroke, just to get the ink to clean. And that looks like it's cleaning up. So we should be putting it up. And we can lift up, and we'll take a look. Okay, now next. We're going to flash. And we're using the Vastex F1000 flash with adjustable temperature control. Right now I've got it set at about six and a half, one down from wide open. And as you can see, I'm running about two to three inches off of the platen. It is a cold, cool, damp morning here in Atlanta. It's going to take a little time. There we go. Much better. Now we're going to come around and we're going to do our super opaque brake red. see that we've got the dark red in the nose and we get all the lighter different shades of red here. We're going to come forward now and put our third color which is going to be our super gold. Now this is a cheetah so I'm going to pick this again. Or a leopard, if we get a good portion of yellow. And let's go. And last, we're going to come forward with our highlight color. And a little double stroke that. Get as bright as the highlights as possible. And we come in, take a look at all the detail in the eyes and the nose. And this is 65 LPI, 
through 200 mesh using a GoCo Pro computer to screen system. And we got asked yesterday quite a bit about flashing. Why are we only flashing after the underbase? We actually are counting on the blending of the colors. If you look at the back of the screen, you'll see that our buildup is actually allowing the colors to blend better. And simulated process, generally the first six to 12 prints are not your best print. You actually need to build up. If I print the same job and I flash in between every color, I will not have near as wide of a color gamut or smooth or photorealistic of a print as we were able to get today by the colors actually blending. Problem people have printing wet on wet simulated process is the prints can get muddy very quickly if you're not controlling your speed, your angle, and your pressure, because those dots are being spread, smeared, or if they're landing in different places with each print because you're putting a different amount of pressure, so they're falling in different places, your prints very quickly get muddy. That's not a situation of the print design, it's just the printing parameters. You have to try to control those better. That's why you notice when we are printing, I am telling you roughly how many seconds and that you could print faster or slower than that, but you just need to print consistently faster or slower than that for that color. Otherwise, you will find your prints getting muddy. We'll be doing some close-up videos, taking a closer look at this image to show you how simulated process, how the colors do merge. So stay tuned for that. It'll be coming out in the next few days. If you enjoyed this video, please give us a like or a share. And as always, thanks for watching.